Hi everyone! This journey takes us on an adventure to the Cotswolds, an area we've never been to before so we're really looking forward to it. This is the view from our pitch. How stunning is that? Right now we're going to start our adventure at Borton on the Water, so let's go and have a little look round. We were staying just outside the village of Charlbury and it was a lovely 40 minute journey passing through lots of beautiful little villages like Chipping Norton and Stow on the Wold uh, heading towards Borton on the Water and all absolutely stunning with their signature Cotswolds features of golden honey coloured stone. Absolutely stunning. There is a car park five minutes walk from the village centre in Station Road and this has spaces for motorhomes at fairly reasonable prices I think for a few hours. And there's our bell. It's, it's a really popular little village, um, absolutely gorgeous, known as the Venice of the Cotswold. So let's go and have a little look round. As always, can't help himself. <laughs> it's just so quaint, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful is this. It really is, it really is. This is stunning. Um, Borton on the water, I think that's how you pronounce it. Could be Burton, Borton. Borton, sure. B-O-U-R, isn't it? Borton. Yeah. But it's it's stunning. You've got all these little shops, eateries, boutiques, pubs, um, and we're right beside this river. I think this is called the Windrush River, the River Windrush. Um, loads of people sitting beside it, eating, having picnics on the banks of the river, beside the river. Lots yeah. of ducks swimming. It's it's so picturesque. It is. It's lovely. Love it. And they've also got. I've seen another sweet shop. They've got the candy shop. They've got another sweet shop over there, and they've got the Cornish bakery. So I think we might have to visit the Cornish bakery as well as the sweet shops. Only you. Only you. Um, unfortunately, it's not sunny today, uh, but it's dry. Uh, it's early September, so I think we've had our summer now in the UK. Um, but we are going to make our way up through the village to the Motor Museum. We are, yeah. Um, they've got a range of classic cars and caravans and toys. Have and they caravans as well? Yeah, yeah, oh, old okay. caravans. So we're going to have a wander up there and have a little look. Are you coming with us?
God, it's like a little treasure trove of history. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder if we're going to notice, see any cars of, that uh, maybe we remember, or? Oh, I can see a caravan over there, look. Let's just turn you around. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look at the ceiling. Wow. All those old signs. Bicycles. Gosh, this is a little find, isn't it? It is. And it wasn't expensive. It's only £7 each to come in. Right, let's explore! Oh, God, I just want to see everything and take pictures of everything. Now, this is class, the Jaguar XK140. It's a 1956. Just look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. I don't know if you're going to be able to see inside. No, I don't think you are. Beautiful. They certainly don't make them like that anymore. It's another beautiful, beautiful Jaguar Mark V. It's a 1951 model, this one. Imagine driving that. Oh, stunning. That is a replica of Henry Ford's very first car, the quadricycle. Four wheels, a tiller to steer it, two um, gears and no brakes. <laughs> Caravanning back in the day. We're not going to do a review on this one though, shall are we? No, but I can tell you a few things about it. Um, this is the Angela Caravan from 1923. It's a 12-foot model in stunning original condition. All its leaded windows are intact and the 3mm plywood skin is in perfect condition. The caravan has three full-length berths, a folding room divider and an oil-burning stove next to the built-in sink. Yeah, it's, I think there's only about a dozen of these caravans remaining. So this particular caravan was built in 1926 by Bertram Hutchings Caravans of Winchester. Uh, that particular firm had a reputation, reputation for producing really luxury caravans of high quality. This particular design of caravan is called the Winchester and it used to be horse drawn. Um, originally it was drawn by two horses, then down to one, um, and then w with the um, introduction of motor vehicles, they actually just put this caravan onto um, a truck chassis, and so it was kind of like a motorhome caravan, <laughs> so to speak. 
Um, in fact, during World War I, uh, the company supplied the army with caravans and motorhomes for use as mobile command posts. Um, and in fact, one of these used to do that, which is really interesting to know. A mini clubman. I think that was the Ford Zephyr. Yeah. Triumph Herald over there. That brings back memories. Amazing turning circle on this car. Turn on the six piece of wood. This is a Land Rover Series 2 1965 and it's had a conversion into a well I was going to say a camper van but what do you think? Very uh, 60s and hippie. This is a 1974 Hillman Imp and right in front of it we have the Sinclair C5 which ended up to be such a huge disaster for Clive Sinclair who was a multi-millionaire at the time uh, in computers and then thought well I'll design a, a vehicle and uh, that was the result and it flopped terribly. Thank you so very much for watching and until next time, bye bye. Bye bye now.